Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Stonehearth Alpha 22. So, uh, I've never played this game before. I've looked at it many times, being like, I should play this maybe someday. And then uh, I threw it up as one of the options for sponsored series number four, and it won, so here we are. I've, I have no idea how to play this game, so this might be a bit rough. And I will be naming people after uh, Twitch subscribers, Patreon people, donors, whatever. And, uh, oh jeez, this is tiny. Is there a way to full screen this? Yeah, but it doesn't look good. Well, we'll deal with it for a second, then I'll get it working properly past this. Um, but mostly I just want, like, goofy names from people. Is stuff glitching out on the right? It might be. Well, we'll find out. Okay, so we can have the Ascendancy. Earnest and hardworking. Loyal and well-rounded. Citizens of the Ascendancy. Chop, build, and farm. Confident that the known world is theirs to inhabit. Or Raya's children. Uh, learned... Early, that to survive they needed each other, and preferably as many others as they could reach. Now visitors find them generous hosts and with access to goods from all over the world. We're going to be the Ascendancy. Okay, so uh, this is the story of a brave band of settlers from the Ascendancy. A prosperous and industrious kingdom seeking new lands and adventure. They set, set off to a temperate biome, because that's probably going to make it the easiest. So, Darkmoor Forest. A place that... Okay, so let's do normal mode. I'm not going to do hard. I don't. I'm probably going to be in trouble, and I don't want to do sandbox because that's boring. So, Darkmoor Forest, a location that's sure to be an inspiring place to start anew. Select a roster. Oh, I can customize kind of everybody here. All right. Uh, so we can have. <laughs> okay, what is this? Opinionated. Oh, interesting. Let's see, so I can roll all citizens. Well, shall I get to naming after people that I have available? Yeah, sure, why not? So we're going to call this guy Inari. And unfortunately, you guys probably don't get it much of a say in what you look like. Uh, just because that is going to be an insane thing to keep track of. I like the, like, orange mutton chops. What other kind of goofy hairdo can we... I like this. There we go, skin color. Wait, there's, there we go. And facial hair. Ooh, I like the eyebrows. There we go. Okay, so that's Inari. <laughs> Make all the mods the same look. Okay, so we got Mitch. Mitch, you are going to have... Oh, that's a female. Unfortunately, I... That's the one thing. I have no idea what people's jobs are. Uh, so I guess Mitch... Yeah, you know what? That's actually... That's pretty okay. Mitch, you're apparently a... Uh... Glutton. And unfortunately, I have no idea about anybody's genders. So, like... This actually is kind of a problem. Unless we don't have to worry. I, okay. Do I have to worry about children? Like, do, does this do the... Before I go too far here, does this do the um, does this do the banished thing where people actually have kids, or will people show up in town and I don't have to worry about children? Cause I I'm afraid I'm gonna have to like balance this out. Cause I kind of want to just have dude town. Yeah, the gender is based on their clothes. I figured that. Okay, people will show up. Awesome. So we're just going to have. Absolute testosterone uh, town, unless somebody uh, says otherwise. Okay, people will show up. That's good, because I I don't know... Uh, I don't know who we have, like, available. I'm just going to hit the randomize button a bunch. Okay, so let's, let's call this... Yeah, Pyro. So we got Mitch, we got Pyro. Uh, let's see. Omni. Uh, let's see. Skin color. Facial hair. Needs needs a beard. Hairstyle. He's an old man, so let's go with this. There we go. Except for his skin color, actually, he'd be like a, a really white dude. There we go. Alright, what other people do we have here? Let's start everyone's a worker. There are no kids as of yet. Good! So we're gonna have Dude Town Plus Plus. Uh, do I have any other subs here? Before I go too far, I don't want to. I don't want to miss anybody. We've got Nido. 
Okay. I like the idea of giving almost everybody a facial hair or mutton chops. Uh, let's see, so... Naito, you get to be... I'm kind of surprised there's no, like, mustache that we can go for. Let's give Pyro a bigger beard. Oh, and bigger eye eyebrows, for sure. There we go. Everybody needs eyebrows. It's, like, necessary. Uh, beards for all, or mutton chops. Bit of both, really. Okay, what else do we have? I guess I'll pull from the larger list. Because I've got at least a number of people for this. Okay, so we got death. I have... This is the one problem with the internet. I have no idea what, like, ethnicity or gender half of my, like, subscribers and supporters are. Which makes it a bit of a... bit of a nuisance sometimes if I'm, like, trying to do stuff like this. And I'm like, I'm afraid I'm going to offend somebody by doing these things. And it worries me. It doesn't worry me that much. It's, it worries me a little bit. Okay. And I guess we'll go with the last one, who's Grove. Now, Grove, you're bald as shit. Let's give you some blonde-ass eyebrows. There we go. And accept roster. Okay, so food for all days, merchant caravan, money solves all problems. Hmm. Okay, let's go with uh, food for days. That seems like the easiest thing to start with. And I'll just learn past this point. Okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of dwarf fortressy customization that I'm not used to. Alright, so settlements location. I assume we'll have a fair bit. So what's this here? Trees and plants. My best bet is probably right here. Or like up here. It's very either Dwarf Fortressy or Rimworld, but I guess the two of them are kind of similar. Oh, but th there's minerals, but I probably can just, like, travel around, I hope. Let's try this. Settle here. And this might be a serious problem. Am I on that list? If so, I can tell you my color and grandeur. Well, you are on the list. You've actually, you have a character, too. Oh, I don't think you can travel? Oh. You can travel enough, though. Okay, so move the camera. Space. Mouse wheel. In and out. Okay, click the banner to show the settlement's location. Yeah, this is perfect. So if we if we set up, like, right here, this should be fine. So I think, like, generally this location is probably, probably solid. Okay. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so what are we going to call call this town? Uh, so we're going to call this Doomed Topia. Okay, and initial supplies. If we're going to get this town off the ground, we'll need wood and lots of it. Chop down some nearby trees to get logs. Oh, okay, that's not the town. That's just the people. How do I... Um, ah, that's how I do it. First, though, we got to go into my settings because... Okay, this tutorial is going to be a problem. Okay, here we go. So, is there no way to... Oh, there we go. Full screen. Requires restart. Son of a... Whatever. Uh, let's max out the shadow detail and... A couple of those things. High quality graphics. Anti-aliasing a little. Oh, there's more settings here. Sound. Don't have to worry about that too much. Yeah, I'm not too worried about these things. So let's let's save for a second because I gotta I gotta put this into full screen, and let's do automatically save periodically. Cool. So now let's exit the game so it's actually in proper full screen. This game can be very buggy. Yes, <laughs> so I can tell. Okay, near the mountain a little bit closer. I think this should be fine. I'm hoping this this should be fine. They really want to play a game that looks like this someday. Like, something close to, um... Final Fantasy Tactics would be super, super satisfying. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, where's... Okay. Initial supplies. Got to do that. So let's do harvest trees. And... Let's just harvest, like, a couple of these trees. And off they go. Well, that'll... That'll be fine. Well, this is a pretty little game. Interesting you can't rotate your camera. Okay. Completed initial supplies. Got a ton of wooden logs. Now we need some place to store it. So we've got to do zoning, stockpile. Let's do a 20 by 20 stockpile. Okay. Promote a hearthling to a carpenter. We have logs and a place to store goods, but the town's looking pretty empty. Fortunately, we've brought a saw along with us. Let's promote a citizen to carpenter. So for the time being, we'll go with that. Okay. Uh, t -t 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 select a citizen to promote. Well, what do we have? Hothead... Oh, to learn what each attribute does. So mind, body, spirit. So Mitch is a glutton. Nido is excitable. Omni is a jokester. And Pyro is empathetic and I can't see what the rest of his stats are. Okay, well I guess Mitch, you get to be a carpenter. Uh, worker, carpenter. There we go. Click to approve. Okay, carpenters and other crafters can create various goods to help your settlement, from beds to building materials to weapons. Awesome. Uh, well, how about place a building? Okay, our carpenter needs a crafting station in order, order to craft things around town. Let's make a workbench. Okay. Die. Hi. Okay, carpenter's workbench. I'm going to be very confused about, like, everything. So, did he just make it? Or... Okay. Now that we've crafted the workbench... Oh, we need to place it in town for them to... Okay. Eh. UI is going to take some getting used to. Okay. Uh, rotate with the plus and minus keys. Like these? Oh, that's not so bad. Alright. I'll just probably have like a crafter row along the stockpile for the time being. The menu for this was loud. The everything else... Okay, we got resources, a place to store goods, and a way to craft items. We're well on our way to getting the settlement off the ground. Um, so we are. What can I do? Can't do farm. Requires a farmer. Okay. Uh, who's a farmer? Oh, hi. Now it wants me to do things. A grizzled traveler approaches. I just celebrated embarkation day. Eh? Oh, just cel celebrated embrogation day, eh? Buck up! You look like you'd really benefit from something tasty. How about I give you that? Thank goodness. Thanks, random stranger. Okay. Well, I assume my, my tutorial is Dunsky. Oh. Befriend animals. Okay. And mind. So, Nido. You get to farm. Okay, let's let's see if we can do some farming. Requires a farmer. I have a farmer. Unless the tutorial doesn't feel Ah, there we are. Unless the tutorial doesn't feel like working with me. So I think I'm going to put a farm slightly further away. Uh I guess an 11 11 one and let's do turnips. I don't know if we have to worry about uh seasonal stuff. My villagers are idle. I'm very aware of this. Oh, pause the game. Okay, cool. Uh, so while we're here, let's let's actually promote everybody to a job. So death is a nice all-rounder. Change jobs. So we have to make a weaver spindle, a trapper's knife, farmer's hoe. We already had a farmer's hoe. Carpentry saw, blacksmith's hammer, herbalist staff. Heals units with crafted balms and bandages. Oh, okay, so this is this is kind of useful. Uh so we gotta get a mason up in here. So we gotta make a mason's chisel by the carpenter. So do I click on this? Move item workshop. Okay. So I can make the weaver spindle. Oh, requires a carpenter of level two. Okay, so that's something we'll have to look at later. So log pile, small crate building parts whole bunch of things okay what about structures can i just build like a full carpenter house 
No. So we got to get wooden chairs, writing desk. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What about, like, um, cottages and whatnot? Cottage for two. Shared sleeping quarters. That seems most reasonable. Is there a way that I can actually, like, queue this up? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess I gotta start making, like, chairs and shit. Is there a way that I can see how many I need? Because it would be wonderful if I could actually, like, uh, list these. Okay. So we need four beds, two chairs. Do I, do I have to pull out a notepad that Shell stole my notepad again? Shell, you stole my notepad again. She stole my notepad. Oh, no, she hid my notepad. Okay. There we go. So I guess I gotta write this stuff down because it doesn't, okay, when you put a building down, it'll make him make it right away. Okay, cool. So I, I don't actually have to I don't actually have to worry about these things. Awesome. I was really worried that I'd have to like write everything down like some kind of weird crazy man. Alright, but yeah, so let's just do a shared sleeping quarters and build. Editor removed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, at some point I will uh I will work on like customizing these things. So I guess these guys will put down the wooden logs. Okay, that's cool. So what else we got? Din dining hall. Yeah, I'm not gonna try too hard about making like custom um custom anything, at least for a little bit. Let's have six between. And build. I'll edit them later. But right now I don't really care too much about it. But this way our carpenter will actually do some work and life will be good. I think I might uh, promote another farmer as well. So who's, I mean, it looks like everybody's kind of spread out here. Okay, when you put the building down, it'll have them make it right away. Let them build one house at a time. Okay. I'm just trying to run through everything that everybody has said. So yeah, this will this will take some effort, but that's okay. Uh, I guess the other thing is, let's not designate a zone. Harvest. Gather. Mine a tunnel. Okay, so I'll have to look into that, but let's, let's actually cut down a couple of these trees. Because we're probably going to need that too. Mostly I just want to make sure that everybody's kind of working here. Okay, the custom building system is fun, but stairs were broken until the last version. Eesh. I I like this. This reminds me a lot of Dragon Quest Builders, actually, in a really good way. Something that uh, something that I would actually like really enjoy. Uh, kind of the fusion of like if it was Dragon Quest Builders, but you could go into like macro mode and actually have the villagers build stuff too. That'd be nice. But yeah, for now, we're just going to go with the most the most basic of op options and not think about it too hard. I'll fast forward it, though, just, just because. It's going to take a while. So ne next up, what do we need? I guess we still got to go get those trees. Uh, is there a way to check my, fo like my food or my resource numbers? Because how, how am I going to know if and when everybody's starving? Okay, so there's citizens. Z for zoning, X for terrain x-ray, oh, Q and E to rotate, okay, that's useful, be careful, you do get attacked, yeah, I, I am kind of accepting that I'm going to get attacked, this is more of a, um, I, I, I guess I'm operating under the expectation that I'm going to fail really hard here. And that's okay, I guess. Oh, town info. Okay, here we go. Edibles, 109. Military strength, 27. Okay. So that's how we see the stuff. It's it's this. Town morale. Face.
Now, let's see. So they're just going to work through the entire night? Yeah, it looks like they're going to. Awesome. Oh, that'll make life a little bit easier on me. I will admit, I might have to find some kind of more music-y music at some point. Oh, shit. There's just like a half billion beds in here. That carpenter did a lot more work than I thought he was going to. I think we're going to need more wood, though. Uh, I wonder, has he... Well, we're probably completely out of wood, so we'll just have to wait. Okay, so death. Change jobs. Make somebody into a footman. Unfortunately, I need to make a wooden sword before I can make a footman. Uh, so we will we'll work on proper defenses tomorrow. Because the main reason why I even built these two buildings... This looks really cool, by the way. Like, the, uh, the in-progress building thing is really, uh, really well done. Okay, so this guy sells stuff. How much gold do I have? Okay, so merchant gold, 700. Our gold, 10. That is pitiful. But that's also not something I need to worry about too much. Because I can make the rest of these. We don't need, like, juniper lock. Yeah, no, this is... Something we'll look at later. Yeah, the scaffolding system looks nice. Okay, and good. They're starting to go after those trees because we're running out of lumber. So, while we're here, can I do carpentry? Can I make the wooden sword? I might as well... Oh, we need a bundle of fiber. Where do you get a bundle of fiber from? Can I harvest? Okay, cool. So I can harvest some of these, like, local resources. I don't know how many of them are actually useful, but I'll do it. At some point, I'd actually like to build, like, a tunnel system in there, too. Daily update. Okay, so food... Oh, boy. A new settler would like to join your town. Sure. Zed Lessel. You cannot be Zed Lessel. Character sheet. No, wait, no, no, no. You're not the right one. Character sheet. Okay, how do I how do I mess with this guy? Morale attributes. Ah, there we go. Uh, who am I going to name this one after next? Uh, it doesn't look like I've got anybody immediately available, so let's just pick the next Patreon. We have... Let's go with Az. I don't actually know if Azarath is around, but I'm going to name him after him. Oh. <laughs> Whatever Zazarath. He is a pioneering spirit, I guess. He's pretty all-rounded, too. Oh! Spirit, I didn't even notice you there. I'm sorry about that. Uh, well, I guess you'll be the next one. I'm relying to some degree on the, uh, the Twitch sub button. Uh, which is probably not a good idea, but oh well. Oh, hi? I have, I have no idea. But yeah, I'll, I'll get you, uh, next spirit. Uh, let's see. So crafters. So now that we've got a crafter, we can get another farmer's hoe if we wanted to. Herbless half. Okay, so we're actually completely out of wood. Well, let's queue up another farmer's hoe, because money is something we are kind of desperately going to need. Let's actually zone in some more food here. Okay. And we'll do multiple turnips. So, if we have multiple farmers, this should be easier. Okay. Zazarath. He is, like, too good of an all-rounder. Uh, that makes it a problem. Wow, actually, why are his stats so good? And he's a loner. Fair enough. Okay, change jobs. Zazarath. We don't have a wooden sword. I guess I guess we gotta wait for the uh, carpenter to go. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah, anyway, I, I'm probably gonna stop pulling from the Patreon uh, Twitch subscriber list for at least a moment. Uh, so if people actually wanna... 
uh, start suggesting names specifically from like, uh, you know, the pool of people that have already been named. That'd be awesome. I'm looking for the weird dumb ones. Or if you guys want to remind me of Patreons that I've forgotten about. Because that also works. Okay, so it looks like our food food problems are not actually going to be that problematic. That's good. Why are you collecting ingredients? Uh, let's make it so he doesn't haul. Let's make it so he builds and does his job. And I'm going to make it so he mostly just does his job. Hauling can be left to the other people that we don't need. Fish, Greg Gecknu, or Greg. Okay, cool. So now we have actual farming. Did... Do we have the stuff we needed? Ah, uh, so Zazarath. Change jobs. We still haven't gotten that sword, though. What's the... What's the cue? Crafting requirements unmet. Orders. Oh, orders. Oh, I see. So he's st he's still going through the stuff required to, to build some of these things. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to wait. I don't know how bad we're going to be. At least the turnips are coming in pretty quick. And yeah, if we can get another farm rate going, then we probably don't have to worry about food. And then after that, it'll just be uh, nice and slow. Make Grove the next farmer. He has too little health for anything else. Good point. Will do. Are they crying? Are you guys crying because... Wait. What is this? Oh, change jobs. Now we don't have anything yet. Is he cry crying because it's too dark? Is it, is that is that what that was? It might have been, actually. Uh, let's see. So we do have custom buildings if I do want to get into that. And I probably will look into it. Let's see. So what am I thinking of the game so far? It's neat. I I really like it. Uh, I don't... I'm not quite sure if I like the idea that you can't... Um... Okay. Oh. Padded vest. Winter worker's outfit. Let's see what I can sell. Unfortunately, we're running low on food. Yeah. No. Not, not selling anything. Okay, orders. We need logs. Somebody want to go cut down some trees for us? That'd be wonderful. Yeah, I really wish you could actually, like, uh, build on things after the fact. Like, it'd be really cool if you could um, add, like, bridges between rooftops and, like, slowly build things up and do all sorts of, like, weird, crazy stuff. But yeah, so far I'm actually rather, rather enjoying this. It's... Simple, and I, I will need to get a lot farther in it to, I think, truly enjoy it. But the idea of, like, kind of an RPG town, town crafter. Like, this is what I'd probably want out of... Well, I like RimWorld a lot, but I think it was just a little bit too... Um, too much in some ways. And I feel like this one kind of will probably end up being more interesting for me. Oh, let's harvest this, like, flower thing. I don't know, this, this just might be more interesting. I had the hardest time with RimWorld. I would always get a character that would, like, lose their mind, and they were always the doctor that would lose their mind, and I'd be like, no, I, des I desperately need that. But, oh well. Anyway. Uh, t -t 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 so we have, oh, loot, mind block. Okay, daily update. How are we doing? We're doing okay on food. Oh, I see. Because our net worth isn't enough, we won't get another person. So it's it's not that we're starving here. It's not that these are our like current consumption. This is just like town value. Okay, well that's that's cool. So yeah, we still we still haven't run the queue here. He's getting through it. He's getting through it uh, slowly. It would be nice if I could actually like. Oh, I can. Let's, I'm going to put the uh, farmer's hoe at the top, actually. And the practice sword. I guess we'll, while we're at it, we might as well make a mason's hammer. And we need some herbs. 
I'll queue it anyway, and I'll see if I can find some herbs while we're out and about. I mean, does this stuff not count, or is that going to be like plant fiber? I have no idea. I'm just going to gather everything. Something here has got to be an herb. Maybe. You can customize a building like I'm just describing. Designing's not good on streams, but it's fun for what the person thinks of. Yeah, so at some point I'll probably mess around with designing. But no, I mean like, uh, it would be cool if you could actually start plunking blocks on after the fact. Like, designing would be interesting, but it would just be nice if you could be like, okay, so these two buildings are right next to each other. Let's plop some blocks on to connect them together and then add like a second floor to these things. Uh, but unfortunately, you have to do that beforehand. And that's that's kind of the complaint, because it would be so much cooler if you could actually uh, do it preemptively. Okay, so let's... Let's have him be a footman. Might be a bit of a waste, but he's the only other person with a high body stat. Alright, so Grove, you're kind of garbage at things. You get to be another farmer. I might get another carpenter, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, herbs are the pink and blue flowers. So these. Okay. Because, yeah, if we can get an herbalist too, that'd be nice. I will need a shield as well. I'm not entirely sure if I can make one, though. Yeah, I think we're going to have to learn how to make a, a shield later. Okay. Let's queue up a carpenter's toolbox. Ah, weapons and armor. Rough wooden shield. Yeah, the RPG equipment stuff is neat. All right, so I guess that's going to be the end of this episode for now. Um, but before we go, I'd like to say thank you, uh, Patreon, GameWisp, and Twitch subscriber, uh, sponsor, whatever people. Thank you guys for uh, sponsoring the series. This is really fun. I, I've been on the wall about it for a very long time, and it's great to have the opportunity to do so. Uh, so thanks for all your support. You guys really, really help out, and I... I cannot state just how like important it is to have this kind of um, generosity, I guess, shown to me. Anyway, uh, for those of you that aren't a supporter of me, you don't have to, but uh, if you do want to have like a a hand in these uh, in these sponsored series, then you can either go down to my my Patreon page or my Game Wish Game Wisp page, both of which are linked down below in this description at the very bottom. And, uh, or you could just subscribe to me on Twitch if you want to just go with that one on uh, kind of double dip on perks. Um, but, you know, even just a dollar helps a lot and, you know, gets you, gets you a voice in what I play next. So obviously I'm going to be playing this for quite some time, but I will say for all of you guys watching the next one, and I'm going to probably do this every five sponsored series. So, uh, this one's number four that we're doing right now. The next vote is actually going to be open to everybody. Uh, so anybody... Uh, that want to, you know, vote on the next game will get a voice. We'll get a vote. Uh, I, I will only be taking suggestions from, you know, Patreon sponsors, Twitch subscribers, and Gameless supporters. Um, but everybody will get to vote on it, but obviously uh, supporters will get a much higher uh, vote value. Uh, I'll probably just equal them out. So look forward to that, I guess, because, I don't know, I think it would be kind of fun to have everybody included every once in a while. And uh, I'm kind of excited to see how that'll turn out. But for now, I guess I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.